In a statement, Zacharias's denomination, the Christian and Missionary Alliance, said that in light of the late apologists' pattern of sinful behavior that has caused enormous pain to many and undermined the witness of the Church of Christ, it was decided to expel him posthumously from the authorized ministry in our denomination. This comes with the automatic revocation of his ordination, the group said. It is certainly unprecedented, as it raises the question of whether or not a dead person can be removed from a denomination. Do you think that is correct? Tell me in the comments what you think. The statement continues as follows. We are deeply saddened by the pain suffered by Lori Ann Thompson, the Messrs and others who may have been victims of Mr. Zacharias' behavior, and we support appropriate advocacy efforts on his behalf. Mr. Zacharias' actions were in direct violation of his obligation to demonstrate his commitment to serving Christ and his people through his devotion, character, lifestyle and values. Lori Ann Thompson, along with her husband, accused Zacharias of emotional abuse and harassment. According to Lori Ann, the apologist asked him for photos of her and harassed her inappropriately. According to Lori Ann initially sent him those inappropriate photos. To avoid prolonged public litigation, on April 27, 2017, the Thompsons sent a letter to Mr. Zacharias demanding $5 million in exchange for a release of the claims against him and the ministry. In response, Mr. Zacharias sued the Thompsons in federal court for extortion under the Federal Criminal Influenced and Corrupt Organization RICO, statute on July 31, 2017. Thompsons and Zacharias confidentially mediated and resolved their disputes in late fall 2017. We will continue to report on this case, which undoubtedly has many aspects and issues of an ethical and methodological nature in which great caution is necessary. Subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to activate the bell with the all option, so as not to miss any notification of the new videos.